guys. I just woke up full on with red lipstick and everything. You guys know I didn't just wake up. Today is Go Get Leo Day. I did wake up at 8.30 in the morning though, but I've been on a roll. By the way, girls and guys, don't ever sleep with your makeup on. I didn't and nor should you. I wanna tell you what I've been doing today. Well, I started getting dressed at like 9 a.m. It's 11.15, I need to go get Leo. Guess who's late? Not me, George. Guys always take the longest to get ready. In the time that he got ready, I have been cleaning the house because I want Leo to know that he's coming home to a clean home and I don't want him to get the wrong impression of me. Not only that, like new bird and everything, I wanna make sure that I don't have my own anxiety. So, everything's looking pretty good, I think so. Forgot to put my broom away. Gotta put my broom away. Help me out guys, where should Leo's cage go? Rocky's is right here, but it's not here right now because he's hanging out outside. Doesn't it kind of look like I set up my dining room in the middle of a bird haven? Like, it really looks like they live here and I'm just, hey guys, do you mind if I have dinner and set up my dining room table right here, surrounded by all of you? Yes. Anyway, today my other birds have not been so happy. Actually, they've been playing with balls. Two of them are in the aviary right now. Picasso, he fell asleep with me last night. I spent a lot of time with Picasso last night because he wanted to watch his midnight show, which was Planet Earth on BBC, because the birds love it, and then they got cranky and we put him to bed, and then I brought Picasso out and he just like slept next to me. By the way, it's not safe to sleep with your bird, so if you think you're going to fall asleep, you don't want to crush your bird, because I've heard stories of that happening, you have to get up and put them away. Let's see where my babies are. Whoa, it's bright out here. Probably not the best look for me. Handsomes! Look at these two handsomes. Hey, you're getting a brother today. What do you think? Do you care? Look at all the toys I made them yesterday. If you guys watch my Instagram, you'll see that I did that. Very easy to get locked in here. Hey, handsome. Oh my God, George is making me so late because I want my sister to be there. Not only that, I want Leo to still be there. What if he sells Leo in the morning? What if one of you psychos goes in and says, I want Leo? You're not psycho, I'm just kidding. Who put this broom on the floor? George! Let's go! We have a baby. We have a stork dropping off our new child. Look what we bought for the birds yesterday at Ikea. I'm hoping Cody will be good at math. Look at him pretending he's ready. I have my shoes on, my purse, everything ready to go. Why? She's freaking out because she knows she's getting a brother. She doesn't want a brother. The benefits of not sleeping in your bed. Hi. What a matter? You getting... You getting upset? Okay, let's go downstairs. You guys are getting a brother. Okay, I cannot film and go down these stairs. They're dangerous. I have such Leo hair that Picasso is unable to be seen in it. I have such Leo hair that like, I didn't have time to do this side today. For all of you Leos out there. Not only that, but I'm like a triple Leo. No, no, quadruple. Leo sun, Leo moon, Leo rising, Leo north node. First five signs. I'm coming, I'm putting the birds away. You're lying. They want to go play outside with their new toys. Hi guys. Did you see all the toys in here I made? He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Go look, she wants to go. Aww. She likes it. I made this by hand. Oh my God, it's so nice. You're the worst actor in the world. <laughs> Put the padlock on. We'll see if they like it. Bye, Rocky. All right, Jenna's probably like, 
there already because she runs on white people time. Exactly what I just said. You always need people like that. Okay, I have all your phones or some of them or my phones or I don't know whose phones these are. She said, I'll be there. Oh, what a good girl. She says, I'm driving with do not disturb while driving turned on. I'll see your message where I'll, when I get where I'm going. Yeah, I like that she has that enabled. It's good, she's not texting and driving. Don't text and drive, guys. George will tell you. Didn't it cost you $5,000 because you looked down at your phone? Yeah, for a split second, I was looking down at my phone. You see, children? Don't do it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Okay, here we go. My last day as a parent of Six, because of the dog. Eight, because I have two finches. I also have Frank the spider that hangs out. No, we have three finches. Three finches. And there's another egg. Shh! Why are you the revealer? Such a revealer. I have to get Starbucks just for that comment. Dude walking into the other house is looking at me suspicious because I'm filming, but I think he's more worried about why I'm filming because it might be pointed at that house if he didn't know I was filming myself because I'm selfish like that. Oh my God, this door. Okay. I hope he's there. Just saying. When was the last time you were in this truck? Yesterday. No, oh, I mean, no, birds uh, mark. That trip? Yeah. I'm gonna do Bird Mart again on March 18th. Hey, there's the psychic store from the show. The show that Rocky doesn't like to watch. Uh, what is it? Something I Shut I. Shut I. It looks like they changed the sign though. They probably did because they're. Or like the show changed the sign probably. No, I don't no, know. No, it used to be a different sign. That, that was what was on the show. Well, they got big. Go. Relax. I can't relax. We have a bird to make sure that he's there. He's there. How do you know? Okay, well, I'll get there as soon as I can. Okay? Well, don't speed or anything. I swear, this is the longest ride I've ever had. Oh, I forgot to empty the truck. What? Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, in a little bit, Leo's gonna be right here. And then I'm gonna take him to Starbucks. Are going to Starbucks? I have to go to Starbucks. This is an event to celebrate with Starbucks. Last time I went to Starbucks, I gave my money instead to Dare to keep kids off drugs. You did what? Do you remember the program Dare to keep kids off drugs? I do remember. That. So they lost funding, and I had ten dollars. So I gave it to them because I didn't do drugs because of Dare. I'm confused. Never mind. Where did you find Dare? Dare was outside of Starbucks and they were like, they lost funding. And so now eight kids have workbooks because of me. I didn't even know Dare was still around. Neither did I. Oh, look at that. There's Jenna's car. Oh, Jenna's here first. Jenna pretending she's the dog person. Look at her first here already. I'm gonna move the truck so it's closer to that front. Okay. So we can just put all the cages in the car, grab a few more birds and get out of here. Okay, get out of here. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I got him first. Oh my no, god. No, no, no. What's up? Hi. He recognized me as soon as I walked in. He did? He, got, he like started, he was on a stand, like tapping back and forth, like pick me up, but I don't know if he thought I was you. Oh my God. Do you know what I mean? No, he knows. You look so beautiful. Thank you. These are the two birds he was with. This guy, the guy behind him was very cute. Are they here? Here we are. What can I see? Your makeup looks so good. Really? Yeah. I'll show you. I got it from Elf. I think it's the 
bronze and then like it has it comes with a little highlight. I mean I might have done it a little too much, but it's because I want it to stay throughout the day. Oh, he doesn't really like it. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Alive, it's not good for birds. <laughs> then I guess uh, I should stop making out with Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did he get lipstick all over? Yeah. Don't get, this is why sometimes I look funny in my videos. <laughs> That was so cute. Jenna has Leo. Okay, the door's locked. All right, I gotta give some of you guys updates. Oh. Oh. See my glasses? No. Oh. Isn't Isn't that cute? Oh my God, Logan. No. Oh my god, look at that one. That one wants me too. <laughs> because you like the costume. I do love it. Oh my god, look at them. Oh, damn. hello. You. You. I want you. Yeah. Oh my god, Marla, look at her foot. Take him home to Joey. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, dude, this one wants me. This one. You have feathers everywhere. This much feathers? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to an event? Decorated with feathers. I know. I would love to. Is he cleaning me? You're getting an eyebrow redo. <laughs> Jerry is here to pick up his birdie today. And you know what's funny about Ozzy, guys? Ozzy was on my live the other day. Really? Well, Ozzy's got problems sometimes. I think he's going through a breeding season, you know? Oh, yeah. And this is what's going on with Ozzy. Oh, How exciting, guys. guys. Jerry has seen my show and he's in here. That's always such a good feeling. Just letting you know. Very busy in here today. These two birds right here, look. This is a severe macaw and an illager macaw. Hi, how are you? They were with him. You gotta learn how to do that. You're bold. <laughs> yeah, you I'm fast. I'm very fast. You think I'm bold? Look at all the scars. Oh, yeah. All I got some white, scars, too. White... I don't even get affected anymore. I'm just, so, like, bleeding. I adopted him. Wife got divorced. Gave him to the husband. The husband put him in a closet for two years. No! That was it. it took me 10, 12 years to get him back to where he was. But... That's a good point. It took you 10 to 12 years. People don't put in that work. You want to change any carrot this much, you have to change that much. Wow. You know that? That's a very good point. Very, very good. But I would say try to adopt the ones that are out there. You're very right. Those of you who can adopt, adopt, don't stop. I think we're going to leave with a finch as well. No, we're not. Why? I feel bad for the finch. Why? What's wrong? Because you can't fly. You get stuck on the bottom of the cage. He can't fly? The cute? He's missing all his feathers for his wings. Where? Right there. Oh, he's so cute. He's like stuck on the bottom. He can't, he can't oh, hang out with the rest of them. How do you know he's missing something? I saw him. He tried to get fly. He's a baby. There's his friend, George. Yeah, they can fly. Guys! Lou just told me about the wild exactly. Amazons in the library. At Glendale. What does the library do? They call me every two years and say, Lou, have you figured out a way to quiet those Amazons down that we have at the library? I'm not going to quiet them down. Lou, it's got to be quiet at the library now. Too bad you got them Bye, Ozzy. You're so beautiful. What is that? It's a gift that I got you and Sandy. What is it? What do you think it is? A water bowl. Bowl? Yeah. But well, why is this one special? It. it has a filter in there. So the filter's in here and then water goes through it. You're oh, cool. To the filter every month. That's so cool. So I guess we'll need to get a bulk of it from PetSafe. Okay. But it's just easier because it keeps it clean. If it rotates, it keeps it clean and keeps water in there. Okay. That's really cool. I got two. So I got one for me and one for you. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Isn't that cool? And cats can use it too? Yeah. And birds. Because I'm getting a cat. 
You're not getting a cat. You better not be getting a cat. <laughs> I'm not. I've been wanting a cat. I've been like, <laughs> oh my god, look at him. Oh, oh that's so cute. I've been imagining like, oh, let me just sneak a cat, a kitten, when I was living with you. I'll just sneak a cat in and like close the door and put a cat litter on the side. No one would ever know. Until it discovers the birds. There we go. Oh baby, you're so cute. Do you want to give me kisses? He misses you. No. Let me watch. No, go to his thing to step up. Okay. <laughs> out here because there's two black ones. I was thinking this one. That's pretty good actually. That would be just exactly what I got actually to pay for. Here, take a photo. George, be in the photo. Oh, it's filming. Wait. <laughs> okay. Love you, cuddle That feels good right there. You better go. Oh yeah. Is he throwing up? He might he actually oh, no. pukes. He's like, oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going to an event. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go to the event with pukey pukey on me. How many that about? Well, he's got a lilac on his head, but we'll 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 allow it. Oh. oh my God, guys! I just realized George is wearing the sniffer shirt today. Yeah, I'm representing. Where are you going, Leo? Are you coming to me. I love that sniffer shirt. If you guys want sniffer shirt, I think I still have some of those left. By the way, those are my favorite ones. Where are you going, Leo? All right. All right, we're home. Let's we go. We are home. You're gonna help me with what when we go home? Your coffee? You're gonna make me coffee when you come back? <laughs> yeah, I don't know when I'm coming back. Oh, that's so nice. I don't know when I'm coming back though. He doesn't know we're going to Starbucks. <laughs> You're gonna take him right now to Starbucks? Probably. We've got a lot of editing to do, so we have to get a Starbucks. So we can edit the biggest story time Monday anybody's ever seen. Well, won't my birds not be happy to see you? Where are you looking? Is there something up there? Okay, if there's something up there, we're gonna not get anything else out of the car. Just in case. Okay, welcome to your new house. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah. Let's go see. Bye. Say bye. Bye, Lou. Leo. Yeah. <laughs> bye, Lou. <Lou. laughs> Ooh, Sandy. We don't have time to get your cage out of the car yet. Because George has to. He's late for work because he was busy getting you. 
That's okay. You hang out here. Are you thirsty? I bet you're thirsty. Let's get you something to drink, okay? Let's get you something to drink. Come here, baby. Are you thirsty? Mommy can always tell a thirsty baby. Oh, the cutest. Let's get you some sun. Come on. Let's get some sun. Let's get our doggy. Our doggy wants to come out. Where was she? Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. You guys don't know this, but every time I get a new bird, for some reason I end up at Tracy's and that's happening right now. She doesn't know. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, it looks beautiful like a playland. Leo! Leo, look at all these bird toys. I just brought Leo home, but now I'm at Tracy's. Look how beautiful. It looks like a wonderful playland. A girl called me and said that her bird is bleeding. What should she do? And she's bringing her cockatiel over. I told her, you have to take care of it where you are. You can't let your bird bleed, but they're panicked. So it's faster for her to get here than to my house because I wasn't at home. Because I was taking Leo to Starbucks. Starbucks is gonna have to wait, Leo. We're gonna go meet David at Starbucks. Bella. Are you gonna grow up and become a bird whisperer? You love birds, right? You kissed Picasso. Shh, don't tell nobody. Hey Tracy! You wanna build me a setup like this? She has these balls. It's so nice in here. Got a cockatiel as a first bird. They're the best. He likes you. He really likes her because he, he, he'll never say no to me. Hi, this is so I really wanted to make a video on this. But I knew you guys were probably too nervous right now. It's okay. Oh. Where are the blood feathers? Okay, guys. Um, this is what a blood feather looks like of a cockatiel. These guys just brought over their bird and he had this many blood feathers. I had to call Jenna <laughs> to help me, but he's such a sweetheart and he's doing so much better now. He's doing so much better, but at least I get this opportunity to show you what a blood feather looks like. I also got a picture of what he looked like before we pulled them out, but I didn't want to film the process because they were kind of in a panic. It's their little birdie. Yeah. Okay guys, so here's what happened. I'd never met the cockatiel before and it had a ton of blood feathers. And um, so I haven't edited story time Sunday yet. I have a massive headache because it's been a big day, but Leo's here and Leo's seeing me eat and he's very interested. You hungry? Look at what he's doing. No, <laughs> oh, his body language is like, I wanna come eat with you. Come eat with me, come on, step up. This is just cabbage. You can have cabbage. Wow. Well, it's been a very long day. We got Leo. Leo's had probably way too much stimulation for one day, although he's handling it. Girl that I had met, she had an emergency with her cockatiel and then she brought him over and then I was like, I need Jenna to help me with this. He had like six broken blood feathers because when they went to the vet with the blood feathers, the vet just 
clotted them but didn't pull them out. And then sometimes that's dangerous because anything can make them bleed again. So, um, Janik stopped by. I have the worst headache. So, Leo and I are going to go to Starbucks. What else were you doing, Leo? Hopefully someone will let me out of the skate. Oh, yes. And uh, hopefully that'll help my headache, but I just wanna let you guys know, story time Sunday is not gonna be on Sunday. This is Leo's first drive through. Let's see how it goes. All right, anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Give me 565. Okay. I have a headache and dad told me if I have a headache, pull my hair down or take my hat off or whatever. Are you gonna get me excited about Starbucks? Let's get our app ready though. Who ate some cabbage today? Hi. Hi. It's gonna be 565 for you. No problem. Sorry, I'm filming because it's his first time at Starbucks. Aww. That's so cute. Yeah. He's adorable. Thank you. You see? You're adorable. <laughs> he thinks you're adorable. I need some too. Thank you. Is David in here today? David's right there. Oh, hey, David! What's up? What's up? I'm filming today. Come say hi to Leo. Leo, hi, Leo. I'm gonna get that. Hi, Leo. Isn't he cute? Thank you. Oh my God. Guess what? What's up? YouTube bought him for me. No way. I'm not Your kidding. Fans? Yes. That's awesome. Isn't that crazy? How did? How did that happen? Because I brought him home one day to visit mm -hmm. and like, just like to say, this is what an Amazon is like. And then he fell in love with me and everyone's like, no, you need to have him. Yeah, man, YouTube fans are the best, right? Yeah, they are. Hi. All right, so you're in this other episode now. Oh, yay, I mean, that's what, two now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bye. Bye. All right, Leo, we're home for the night. I know you probably miss your friend, but I'm gonna be a good friend to you too, okay? I'm gonna make sure you have a very, very good friend. Ah, and a good life, okay, baby? Let's film Jersey's reaction. I'll tell you guys when she's about to see Leo, okay? Right now. It's far away. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna tell you when Cody's gonna see him. <laughs> he could see him now. I don't think he does. This is Leo. Okay, Rocky. That's Leo. Scared of Leo? You could be just as far as me. Would you like to try to share a stand with Leo? Huh? Look up here. Good bird. Good bird. If Leo wouldn't mind having a friend with you, here's Vinny. I already know Vinny's like not gonna be interested. He's not gonna like, like it's not even a thing. There's another bird there, Vinny. <laughs> He's like, give me one. Okay, that's all you needed to do was to know, okay? That's all you needed to do was for me to show you.
first of all, Dare kept me and Kinga off drugs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Then we were staying in the car. Like, yeah. it kept me off cigarettes. It kept me, me off too. drugs. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Tell us what the yes. new Dare program's like. So they've been focusing a lot on anti-bullying, suicide prevention, still drug prevention, oh, of course. Yeah. Drugs. Like, okay. Yeah. And anti. I'm so big on um, anti-bullying. My first film that I wrote was about not bullying. Really? My new film that I wrote is about suicide. Oh wow, that's amazing. You see how it all ties down? You always meet the right yeah. people at the right time. We'll stop harassing yeah. her. What's your name? Cassandra. Marlene, I'm Marlene. Oh yeah, Marlene. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice. I just thought that Dare was a good program for us, so this is making it into the vlog, just letting <laughs> you know. But now I have no money for Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> so my battery is dead too. <laughs> Bye. Peace out, guys.